energy, 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 oak walk, energy, eh, oak walk. It's only me that knows why I started this show like this. Because the drama in Big Brother's house, the unending drama in Big Brother's house, is why we have come here today. In fact, I pride myself in being Big Brother's spokesperson. Because today, Big Brother still accosted somebody for shouting on his ninjas. And I was like, ah, ah, Big Brother. We will get to that one. My name is Margaret Usazua, and I'm welcoming you especially to the show today. And with me on set today is the beautiful Moyo Lua. Hi, Moi. Hi, guys. I'm Margaret. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. So, how have you been enjoying Big Brother's house now? I've said while we spoke spokesperson. What do you think? Ah, enjoying is an understatement. The drama, the everything, the bass, bulls, bulls, bass. Everything is actually expected. And I feel like the housemates are just giving us that thing that we really want. However, if I am to hmm. chip in my own two cents, I am still not satisfied. And it's I feel like the people that were giving us that drama, terrible. See, guys, up, I just up, want up, to say, same way. I, I wish you were. Now they were biggest baby again. Oh, <laughs> you, you're not nice too. I miss Chinwe. I think I miss Chinwe. Yes, guys, Chinwe, the Zinwe pair has been yeah. evicted. And I, I don't know somehow I miss Chinwe because this last week that she was in the house it was quite beautiful i saw chinwe nanda light i saw baby chinwe i saw team chinwe i saw i just you know i just saw her in another light and i said oh my chinwe is gone i'm going to miss chinwe even though Moe, you don't understand why i'm gonna miss you see, you chinwe about, eh? fake love <laughs> because last time we were on this show i remember that we we're talking about who would likely be evicted this week and she was yeah, probably watching that no way! It's like I was trying to do roots, you know. I just said that Zinwe stood a better chance of living. I mean, there was Zinwe and there was better. And if you guys looked at the voting poll, you see that after Zinwe was better. Margaret, me and you know that you wanted Zinwe to live because she was giving us too much. So how, how but, come you are now missing? Because her? I'm a just human two days being. After she left the house. Because I'm human and people change and I changed. Mm. Yes, take it like that. That's all. I'm not talking speaking on this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, uh, for the head of house games, I mean the chatoria pair one for the first time i want to give a round of applause just because victoria is there it was beautiful i, I was i was shocked i was surprised and i was happy for them like finally this pair is getting to do something really amazing. and i think that this week is victoria's week you know how we first complained that victoria was really not showing any zero like what are you doing in big brother's right? house if you know you don't want to speak to people mm-hmm. you just want to be by yourself this is not the place for you but it will interest you again to know that for the super commando tax again there we are the they people were. that are won hey i don't okay. know i recall that last week she actually had a banter with somebody in the house i'm like oh Vicky. we're proud of you victoria that's what we're talking about the drama mm. the violence but i mean the, the most interesting thing for me was seeing that it was just not um the shatteria pair that won the nelita pair would have won again and i'm like oh my god these people are strong contenders yeah. they are game players like they, they play very competitive, competitive people they don't joke they're telling you we are beauty but we have brains we are strong really? we're energetic we're athletic anyone want to call it i, I would say and women yeah. should look forward to being someone like anita no one will seek that because she's beautiful she is uh, when she got into the house everybody knew how to be this um beauty model yeah i think she won miss nigeria at some point yeah, yeah. and we're just expecting her to come into the house come give us some beauty shows flaunting her beauty here and there and her long long legs but then she showed us another side to being beautiful that you could be beautiful and still be making things yeah, happen and loving every, and loving every bit, bit of it of it okay so fast forward to the drama i mean this is the fun part now let's fast forward to the drama because this is the one that i live for mm. the drama you know that so you, you know yeah. we talk about this thing. if there's no <laughs> drama what are we doing here it has to be with drama so over the the weekend i think wani and x handy fought i mean that broke my heart seeing the twin sisters fight for the very first time they were really fighting yeah. and guys i don't want to be dramatic but i will be dramatic at some point but not now see the way they were just crying and this one was saying now and you know they speak really fast so sometimes you're like doing like this what are you no saying way. what are you saying, <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> they were just going on and on and i saw how smith's trying to pacify them and all of that i mean mm-hmm. along the line we also had the femi and imbadiwe twins fight i mean they fought yeah. because femi heard shouting in the garden and femi wanted to go and see what was happening the twin girls were obviously there okay. and the imbadiwe twins felt I mean, I think it was Ozzy or Ozzy. Those boys confused me. I'm sorry. You know, one of them was like, see, 
uh, leave them, let them be. And I think the way he came off at him, he didn't come off at him in a respectful manner. Mm -hmm. And Femi, for the first time, just fled up. Like, you cannot tell me what to do. Why in Big Brother's house? What gave you the right to... And I think, somehow, I sort of concur with him. They both had... um, Cogent reasons. Mm-hmm. I mean, he didn't want him to disrupt whatever conversations they were having, and that one just felt that while well, in Big Brother's house, there's no privacy here. So, what yes, are you talking about? Yes, you yes. get at moving on from there, of course. We are moving on from there. We're moving on to the triangle in the house. When you, I don't know if you have been seeing that triangle. What triangle is it? doing one triangle thing with Oyeka mm. and Victoria? Mm. Mm. Adam. Adam, <laughs> you have to carry yourself and come to ins- into the big brother's house because why on earth can't you just pick one person and just but, stay on that But Ozzy, you are not feeling like Ozzy is not feeling like he's doing anything. No, it's like he's 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 doing friendship. But we that is not friendship, Ozzy. We see you. The thing is, okay, if you are to say that it's friendship, yeah. You should be open. At least let the person see your closeness with this one. He's trying to play the game that when I'm with this person, this person is not in the picture, so she doesn't feel bad or think of me in another light with this person. Then when you're with this one too, you do the same thing. That is you trying to like play a game that is not clearing. I don't even know that ah, of cash feelings. Moya, now. I don't know if you watched the Saturday night ah. party. It was a bomb. I was just seeing the smooth operator. Um, or Ozzy. Ozzy would just move like this. Like serpents. He would just move to Oyeka. She would just give him the oh. <laughs> you know now when they are done he would just move it to victoria that one just, just went, <laughs> i say ah oh z mm. well it's done not, it's not easy to be fine Sha. well oh, done kushe you are doing well mm. and you know it just made me wonder what ozzy was really playing at because every time the guys trade at him or they're just mm-hmm. talking about stuff ozzy always acts as though he doesn't know and you know somehow i think that he deserves oyeka because oyeka is another person like that what do you think? I think it is a little bit doing yourself. It should be sweet. <laughs> Should we speak about Oyeka? Ah. <laughs> that girl, mm. I feel like she is actually a gamer as well. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. She's playing her game well. Yeah. But then I have problem with her. And what is that problem? What? Always in everybody's business. Ah. Wherever there's a scandal, you'll find Oyeka there. Wherever there's a this, you'll find it. And like you told me, she is the Luluin. Like <laughs> it's the Lulu that this guy is going no, through. No, no. I have not seen it in the Oyeka before. is in a world of her own. When they say somebody's delusion is the little is Oyeka. Like Oyeka is the kind of person that will tell you now. She will say, I don't know what he was saying. I was just there. He just came to meet me. We're just talking innocently. And I just said this. And I know, I know that people feel intimidated by me. I don't know why. Feel intimidated but, by you? Know, you? She has all of these things in her head. Only how? She will say it, and she will say, and she will say, and she will believe it. She will be so confused. She will digest about what she's it. Talking about. And she will be telling you, you know, if you are not, if if you don't, if your mental health is not right, you will mm-hmm. be confused every day <laughs> with Doyeka. Like you know, why I like her. I like the fact that she believes everything that she says to herself is real, mm-hmm. and then she projects it on the housemates, and then they don't even know how to take it. Y- imagine the housemates conversing about Oyeka's character. But they can't do anything about it. Like the same. Oyeka feels like when she's passing, everybody's looking at her pump up. If you bring, well, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't counter that because you actually have a very nice shape, very amazing shape. But then you are not using it in the very good way because I'm still wondering why she's not yet in a shape. Oyeka cannot be in, in a, a shape. normal setting. When guys see those kind of that kind of person with our shape Oyeka and curvy and everything, cannot be in a you. shape. If Oyeka gets into a shape, because I'm out to not let her race. No, that boy's in trouble. If it's not as dramatic as Oyeka, there's gonna be issues. I remember ah. Oyeka saying, I think it was yesterday. I'm, I'm not certain of the day, a particular day. Oyeka was saying that if she was in a ship, mm-hmm. because of the way Ebuka sort of talked about the ships in the house, I don't know whether he called them socializing or something. I can't really recall the word. Mm-hmm. And Oyeka was like, ah, that's how Ebuka called them those names. That if she was in a ship, what mm-hmm. she would do? Mm-hmm. The PDS, everything. All the drama, all the that she would do everything, and now and suddenly I'm coming from someone who does not even have someone you, looking at suddenly they're on the other side. Please, father, let's just tell you can be shipped right about who, okay. Now. Let me ask you who has the tendency to ship Oyenka in that household? Who is not in a ship right see. now that would likely ship Oyenka? Ah, who that was? I will say people next time we are on the ship, I will think <laughs> about it. I cannot have any. <laughs> it takes me to Ebuka. I don't know how we 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 lost track of the eviction show, and we didn't speak to how Ebuka came for the housemate. Mm. I think it was <laughs> it was spot on. 
You know when they say something, you do a cook at home. Ebuka came to cook. He pisses the table. <laughs> ah, I don't know what happened, but Ebuka really came for the housemates. And I think he started with, um, I'm, I'm, where I started, he, he was speaking with um, Sean as to what he was saying about um uh, one ex handy you know he's in a thing which uh, 20 i don't want to call that a relationship he's in a thing situationship with one and you know um he had been discussing with somebody and he said that when he came into the house for the first time mm-hmm. he had his eyes on nelly sort of but um nelly didn't chase she didn't and doesn't like a girl that cannot chase and all of that so ibuka mm-hmm. asked him clear like so are you saying that one was like a second option because she chased and one is face, you know, she just like smiled and put her face. And then Sean, you know, Sean, by the time you bring that is London accent, no, 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 no. Sha, Sha, I written an edge that he said. Sha, was that um, he's good with um, Wani, and no, Wani is not a second option, which really, like, his response did not really give me anything. Then fast forward, Ebuka went for Oyeka. I'm very sure that the internet knew how Oyeka's home was. It was from one to another. Mm. But the one that cracked me up, cracked me up was where Ebuka asked Oyeka what she meant when she said Victoria came out and when she saw Ozzy, Victoria went back inside to go and change to short skates. Ah, Oyeka! This is someone, someone is the founder of lies. Unfounded oh, facts. You just come, you just sit down here. You just sit down one when, place and start thinking of, okay, when, it, when Oyeka said, said that, when Ebuka said, do you know what she said? She said, well, um, Ebuka, um, I see things a lot. Um, I hear a lot of things and I think that Victoria likes Ozzy. Like she was just ah, the one that they asked you. The way Victoria was like Victoria's face there was everything for Why would you why would you even imagine or think that somebody went to change because of another person? What was going on in your head? It was it was it was it was it was crazy for me. I mean, but I think I really enjoyed the banter with Oyeka. Then Ebuka went to Ben and asked Ben who he would give his piece of meat too. If he had a piece of meat, mm-hmm. whether he would give cheese over or an eater. Please, who do you think Ben was supposed to just say he would give? Cheese over, of course. Thank you. That's why everybody started a tinkle. <laughs> ben began the like really reason. You know, you know, you know, wanted to be smart. I say, Ebuka, you know now. Ebuka said, No, I don't know. Anything. I don't know. Say Send me. <laughs> and I say, Well, it's cheese over. Ebuka said, The fact that you taught for a while. Well, okay, okay, okay. I'll just leave hey. it. Hey. Then there was the Anita and Tofa issue, and I don't know this particular one breaks my heart. See how my voice just came down in this part? It's because I have a soft spot. You know how we Anita analyzed the, the, the keys and how you this know, whole thing happened. I just so have a soft spot for them, mm-hmm. and, and again, looking at them, I just really like them. Them yeah, as people, yeah. you know, naturally, then now coming together, I just like them. And I see this age thing as going to be a very big issue. Ebuka came for. Uh, what's her name? Anita and asked Anita about the OH thing. She had been having these issues with Tofa all through the mm-hmm. the the week, and she was asking Tofa about his age, and Tofa was just going in here and there. But finally, they made up, and then they book her again. And her answer was that Tofa said that they are both age, age mates. mates. And ah, she's willing to go with and she's willing to go with what Tofa said. Tofa said. And I'm like, so oh just imagine God. what will happen after when she comes out of the house and she realizes, and she realizes that, that she is way older than Tofa. What's going to happen? I I don't believe in lies. This is a relationship, right? If she's going to accept you that way, oh, come out plain. My Tofa. If she wants you, she will take you like that. Tofa, you don't have to start I, covering I think, up lies that will yeah. not last forever. I, I remember when Tofa was having a conversation with Serge. I mean, the first time before Anita really wanted to have this age conversation because it felt like. So far, I was not an age mate. Should I start creating like this very long boundary? Mm-hmm. And so then like telling Tofa that I don't want to just stay away, like I don't want to talk to you and all of that. And Tofa was telling him too that he can't stay away from Anita, that he really likes Anita, he cannot stay away from her. That this space thing she's talking about cannot work. So he was willing to talk to her and all of that. So I'm just, you know, I saw Tofa after the whole eviction show. I saw his face, I saw his countenance. So I could tell that that thing really made him feel a bit down. But mm-hmm. almost what do you want to do? Not to. Mm. They, um, Sean, Ben, all of them, they were with him. Yeah. And they were like, guy, no worry. Say, we'll not throw you under so the bus. So Ben was saying, okay. don't worry. No, Ben was upset too. Ben was like, ah, because I know he's a lie. This thing is going to be... And now brings me is to the question... Is it not the Ben that started the whole problem? Now brings me to the question of Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben, do you like Anita or not? You need to be real <laughs> with to us. So we all this... They are doing here now. Yeah. Because Ebuka asked Anita, who puts this thing in his bed? His bed now? His bed. You are cheese over, you are not staying with her. You are going to. So, 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 that person in relationship. You don't focus on your. The truth of the matter is, cheese over won't have collected that piece of meat. 
a sanitizer that Ben would have given that meat to. <laughs> but Baba wanted to sleep well. <laughs> Make you know her cat drop. We don't fit talk <laughs> Baba wanted to sleep. Like, all the relationships were shaking that day. Ebuka also came for Suj and asked Suj why he, if he told Nelly that he spun to Yeka's ass Saturday night party. Ooh. And then Nelly was like this. You did what? Oyeka was like this. You know that that did face of was that sure in my right happened. frame of mind? That kind of I'm like ah until you come <laughs> show. <laughs> so you now say, well, Obuka, you know we're intoxicated. Mm. From where I was in my TV screen, I look as soon like it's mm, intoxicated. <laughs> okay. We, we will go with that, sir. <laughs> we will go with that, sir. No problem, sir. You know, after everything, I actually thought that him and Nelly we have an issue because they've always been mm-hmm. having this issue of you're not giving me attention, you're giving me yeah. attention. I remember when Suj told Nelly that and Suj, and Nelly told Suj you're not giving me attention, and Suj was like, You seem to forget that we came to this house separately. That was threw me off. But I mean, love conquers all. Somehow they are hugging back and pecking each other on the chic. Let's not forget about the double K. Yeah. Do you think they are playing safe? So well, far. I, I think so. I think they're playing that game well. They're playing that game well. Um what's his name now? Kelly Ray is trying to be this husband that is protective and yet is still trying to be this friend, like just to stay away. Yeah. So he's trying to mark a territory where Cassia doesn't forget who she is. I had I, I saw a scene where he was telling her that don't forget that you're a wife. Mm. So in case you're trying to forget that and trying to do some kind of thing, come back to your sense you're a wife. <laughs> they don't know you're a wife for me and you know that, that we are husband and wife. So he's trying to just bring Cassia, like guide her, make sure that she doesn't do something that would tarnish their relationship. So okay. I feel like they're playing very safe. So you yeah. see where, where, where Kelly Ray is trying to ensure that Cassia does not tarnish their relationship. We now have Sean, who is like a king. I don't know. Sean is like a king in that one in shandy. I say one in shandy. See, say, I call it shandy. One in shandy. Moving on. It's like a king dear this morning. It's like a good Ooh, Lord, you know, she was, I'm not sure what was. I'm not sure what was. Oh, um, you know, and you know, it was how after they didn't go home, Wani and Handy were, were pretty upset that Sean didn't mm-hmm. congratulate them. He congratulated every other person. And I person. heard that saying, I'm not going to forgive him. Yes. I won't let this go. I won't talk to him. Um, I want me to hear that they were gazing again. Ah. Uh, ah. It, in fact, it was it was ridiculous for me because I just felt yes, Wani has grown. She has understood Sean's game. Ooh. Now she knows that Sean is just using her for the game. And then the next thing. I just see that they're having a conversation. Handy, even I think it was Ozzy or Ozzy, because I say again, those boys confuse me. And they were advising one that give Sean space, you know, this one, that one. Mm-hmm. The next minute, one is there. She's not even allowed Sean to be the one to come and say, let's have a conversation. She's the one that still went. Mm-hmm. With all the, with all the, with all the, see, Andy, 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 listen, Andy, give me, Andy, give me. See, let me tell you, it's the oh. one. He doesn't, he doesn't, like, every time we have a fight, he's always the one that's always saying, he's always acting as if, like, everything. <laughs> Ah, it was tiring. That long <laughs> drama, and then I see you yeah, next on the table. You are talking. The boy said, "Don't even." I'm like, I beg you, I beg, I beg, I beg. but I mean, it's a game, and it's the survival of the fittest. Right. And I mean, one said a lot of things about how washing cocaine, doing this, doing, and I'm like, well, uh, wife material, who share in big models, who share wife. Right. Because I don't understand, you know, but at the end of the day, as I would say again, it's a game, the survival of the fittest. I, I hope that we'll be fair this year mm-hmm. because somehow we always tend to play the pity card. It's mm-hmm. not about a pretty face, it's not because you are handsome, it's, it's not because not you know how to cry. Mm-mm. The gamers, this is baby Nigeria, no lose guard. So, in other words, you have to be on top of your game. So, I would like to know in the comment section who you are rooting for and why you are rooting for them. Let's have this discourse in the comment section below. I'm not going to ask Moyi yet because I mean. I already i think i have an idea so i'm not gonna ask but i will ask people first the All next right. week we'll talk about it <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on bb niger review today thank you Moe. thank you margaret as always it's always a delight having you on set with me it's a pleasure <laughs> and with that we say bye-bye Bye.